Hey BZB TV fans, my name is Matt with BZB Gear, and today we are going to be visiting HDMI 2.1 versus HDMI 2.0. Yesterday we talked a little bit about what makes HDMI 2.1 a little bit different, but today we're going to dive into why you would consider 2.0 over 2.1. So let's go ahead and dive straight into that. So if you're talking about HDMI 2.1, it brings a load of features. Kind of like we talked about yesterday, you get 48 gigabits per second. You have 8K uh, support as well as uh, 4K at high refresh rates. You also get dynamic HDR support, tons of really great things like a very, very low EMI, um, variable refresh rates, enhanced gaming features. Plus, you also get some better AV features like support for Dolby Atmos. So why would you consider HDMI 2.0? Well, HDMI 2.0 is going to be cheaper. That's going to be one of the biggest things, but also you're going to still be able to support 4K. The thing about it is you're not going to get 4K at 120 or 140. You're only going to be supported at up to 60 Hertz with that. But again, you're talking about a cheaper cable and it's also going to be better at being a passive cable the longer you get. Uh, that is one thing that 2.1 struggles a little bit with. You're probably going to have to run a little bit of a shorter cable if you want to run HDMI 2.1, but uh, you still get a lot of really good features with 2.0. You're getting static HDR support, so it's not going to be dynamic like 2.1, but you are still getting HDR support as well as variable refresh rate support. And on top of that, you are still also getting ARC support. So that's just a general overview of why you might consider HDMI 2.0 over 2.1, what the main differences are between the two. So we'll see you guys in the next video.